Hello everybody, Dark Killer here and today what I'm gonna try and do for us is set up a automated mining drone. So first thing I do or did specifically with this is you can see I have a spherical gravity generator behind a few blocks uh, collected where if I'm dropping ore for example from this angle uh, it should hit towards the middle simply because the gravity generator is pulling towards it over here I have my drone or oh, miner which I converted actually to a drone so first thing first I have four timers I set up I have start a run so this is basically where I am now where I'm dumping the ore the reason I'm dumping the ore is in space it's not like planets where the remote block will orientate bottom towards the center of gravity in space uh, it's going to twist and turn so it doesn't always line up if you have a connector on on your base so basically it's, going, it's just going to be simpler for me to dump the ore so timer wise i have start to run it's going to take five minutes and when it finishes the five minutes it will switch on the remote autopilot it will switch off the connector that is ejecting ore it will make sure that the drills are switched off it will make sure that the thrust override is switched off again i just want to make sure it doesn't push through my base starting the mining uh, it's actually going to start immediately so what it's going to do is, is again make sure that the autopilot is off uh, it's going to make sure that the drills are switched on because again we are going to be drilling going to make sure thrust override is uh, switched on and it's going to call the timer mining end mining end uh, i've set it up for five minutes uh, so that at the end of the five minutes hopefully enough time to go through the asteroid the autopilot will switch on it will make sure that the drills are switched off and it will make sure that the thrust override is switched off again I'm gonna do it repeatedly just to make sure the override is off because again I don't want it to push through um, the collectors or push through my base so end of the run it's going to reach where we are now and what i wanted to do is to make again just sure that override is off uh, switch on the connector that is dumping uh, ores and it's going to make sure that the start run timer starts Uh, start. Okay, so I'm just going to make sure uh, the connector is off so that we are not dumping ore out of the red connector as we are mining through. At the moment, I'm also switching off the ejector to dump stone uh, simply because uh, I want to have something to dump. And as it's very finicky to set up a run on automated mining, it's basically you're going to have to try it a few times to get it perfectly. Uh, I'm going to mine stone also just to show that I can dump stuff. <laughs> so if I press uh, autopilot, uh, oh, so the remote itself remote we are gonna be here so first we're gonna go to line up for mining there no sorry 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 first we're gonna go to line up for uh, dumping the ore then we're gonna go to line up for mining then we're gonna go to start mining then we're going to come back to line up for mining 
and we're going to go to drop the off. So we are here to dump the ore. So first we want to get out at the straight line. So I'm going to go to line up. Then we're going to go to where we should be lining up to mine for the gold. And I'm just going to this point first to orientate the drone. Because as I said, it is moving around, getting different orientations. So it might not be nose first towards the asteroid. It should go to start mining and then here's where we will have our first actions. Uh, I do want a mining start to trigger. So start that, but then also switch off the autopilot. The drones start getting finicky when they get close to asteroids, voxels and bases, stations. So it will try to twist and that's not what I want when it gets close to the asteroid. I want it to go straight. So it's going to go line up for mining. It's going to go to drop the ore. So the actions there is um, end the run. Start that one. Just make sure autopilot is off. Again, I don't want it to twist and turn. Alright, so if all is set up well, uh, we should get a relatively good run. But again, as I said, this is only something I would do on a server where the voxels reset on a regular basis. Actually, you can add four more timers. The maximum time on a timer is one hour. So you can have a timer run an hour, start the second timer, have it run for an hour, start the third timer, and again, depending on your time it takes to do the mining, you can shorten the fourth one, maybe to 30 minutes, 20 minutes, and still an hour, to make sure that your mining runs start after the, the voxels have reset. Because if you're on a server where it's not resetting, it's pretty much not worth it. Uh, to set up the run, you could pretty much have done the run. So if I looks like I might hit an ore patch we'll see we'll see so at this point the override switch is on the drill switch is on it looks like I will hit the asteroid there is an ore patch of gold in front of us so if I don't hit too hard oh, the other reason I come a little bit closer to the asteroid before I trigger this run is also to make sure that I'm not coming in too hard into the asteroid because uh, again now the override is trying to push it through the to, through the asteroid and it I think five minutes might be long enough to get through this but we'll see Again, that's why I say the, on a server where the voxels reset, you will have time to play around with it, to set up the timings correctly, to try and make sure that you get through the asteroid far enough, safe enough to trigger the return to the drop off point. Um, the drop, if a remote like this, a, a drone, is inside a voxel and the timer goes off and tells it return to base it's basically stuck because the first thing it is going to try and do is try and turn around and it's stuck in a hole so it's going to try to turn that head to the left or the right to see if it can get orientated towards the base and for us that will be bad news because um, you're in the rock, you're in the stone, so it will try to, it will basically just get stuck. So as a drone automated mining, it won't work. At the moment, uh, it's going well, we're almost through. I'm pretty sure, yes, I did get some of the gold. So again, advice would be try to fine tune it so that you are hitting your drone your target. Uh, you could do loop arounds where you come in at slightly different angles trying to hit that ore again and again from different 
linear lines, different angles, different ways to hit it. So it all looks good. I'm not sure how much time we've got left on the timer, but I'm pretty sure we have more than enough time on that timer running. Uh, mining in two minutes left. So from this, I would say, okay, I have uh, more than enough time to get through. We should actually be picking up quite a bit of stone also. We are outside of the mining tunnel, so <laughs> if the remote starts up, or the pilot starts up, we should also be okay. This won't be a big problem with it being actually aiming through, or actually being outside of the tunnel. So, let's see our timer. We still have one minute left i'm actually will trigger it i could shorten the timing run for that run next time around if i'm doing this as a permanent run for this drone so let's say timer uh, mining end all right so the remote switched on to autopilot the overrides are off now the drill switched off it looks like it's trying to path its way uh, while it's trying to path let's see we got we are full full of stone and we did get some gold come on drone i know you can do it find the way home Find the way home. <laughs> I'm just gonna help it out a little bit. Uh, the nice thing of the autopilot is if you press it now again, it should be okay to go back into the loop that it's programmed to. So let's see. As I said, if I actually had the run, the run, override run completely, it should have done it, find the path uh, itself. So if I look at the remote, we did go from drone one, line, uh, line up for mining, start mining, it should... I used the wrong one there. This one should have been line up for the dump. But okay, uh, it's not a big train smash. Uh, I'm just not going to be coming in straight towards, aimed straight towards my dumping area. But anyway, as I said, if you have multiple GPSs, uh, programmed into your remote and like you I did now you interrupt it to slightly maneuver a little bit around and then you start the remote again autopilot again it will actually rip, uh, repeat um, or rather would try to go to that last GPS it should have been going to that's what I mean so um, it's not a big problem to interrupt the remote if you want to keep the uh, series of events or the line of events that you wanted to happen. Now, lastly, at our ore dump, the drone should stop. This red connector on the bottom should switch on and should we start dumping all the ore and if i'm lucky i might be in the gravity to catch it <laughs> okay we're in the gravity if you look on the right hand bottom we are in artificial gravity we are kind of lined up that the connector should be dumping it towards our connection point 
a couple of meters, two meters. Autopilot is off. The, the timer starts. That is now the next big question. Timer. Uh, enter run. Lock up, lock on. Okay, so start. It is. Connector or for refinery on collect all throw out stone. Now why? Oh why? Hey, right, I'm not gonna run this run again. <laughs> it is on. It should be pulling ore. Connector and uh, connector or for refinery. Can you go there? Why not? That is why we had a technical issue. Unfortunately, again, that's also the problem of hitting it hard enough. So it's a give and take. I should probably also, it's a good example that it has happened. I should also actually make sure that my thrust override is a little bit softer so I don't hit it hard or I can build in a few extra struts to take the damage. So we're dumping the ore, we're dumping the stone, it's going into my collector and my refinery should be refining. And then in five minutes, or less than five minutes by now, this drone should start its run again. Uh, connector, just want to make sure the gold gets out first. And then... Uh, sorter I mean while we are here we might as well try to dump all the stone as quick as possible it would be interesting <laughs> as I said we are kind of going to be missing the target those back ones are going to definitely miss it But again, the idea was also not to use it to collect stone. And that's also why I have the red connector straight underneath. So that it is dumping towards. Okay, so ladies uh, and gentlemen. Automated mining, <laughs> I think my cargo is full. So that is my demo for automated mining. As I said, it is good for voxels that are respawning. Uh, it would be good for a base where the server is going to be resetting everything in a couple of hours. As a once off, I would not do it. As you saw, it is pretty finicky. You're going to have to do this a couple of times to make sure the run is perfect. And also that would be good is to set up a run that will go through this or a couple of times from different directions. Um, 
if we are lucky this should reset and hit pretty much the same spot again but therefore next time I would actually line up line up uh, start mining and line up I would do a second one slightly more to the left and then I should hit it better and then of course you can do a couple of more spots around here in one go just to make sure you are filling up so we have some ore here I think there's ore on this one but as I said this is something that you will set up and try and set up and try and set up and try until you have a good run a good setup and probably might have a few to hit a specific uh, ore and uh, of course it would be high value or something like gold platinum or uranium that you would invest this much material and time into so ladies and gentlemen i do hope you enjoyed the video um I will try to have my next video about mining on the planet itself, automated mining. But it's a whole different set of challenges, a whole different set of things that you need to set up. Um, so on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a wonderful day and see you in the next video. Thank you, everybody.